In today's video, we are celebrating women in engineering. Meet the woman who is responsible for building the Brooklyn Bridge in US, Emily Warren Roblin. Emily Warren Roblin may not be a well-known name in history, and you probably have not heard about her before. But if not for this wonderful lady gift and intelligence, Maybe the Brooklyn Bridge might never have been completed. So, let's dig deep about this lady and the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's first of all get some understanding about the Brooklyn Bridge. Today, the Brooklyn Bridge is among one of the most iconic architectural marvels in the world. It was built of limestone, granite and smith and it is a nearly 6,000 foot suspension bridge and it transports roughly 144,000 vehicles across its span every day. It is remarkable to think that such a reliable structure was achieved 135 years ago. When the Brooklyn Bridge opened on May 24, 1883, it was the longest suspension bridge. In fact, nothing really came close to it in length. For such an architectural achievement to be realized, 14 years of construction by 600 workers, which an estimated 27 workers died. Sure, the design of the bridge is what we marvel at today, and rightful so. But what is less appreciated is the day-to-day -day management involved in constructing such a complex and revolutionary structure. And who would have known that at the center of this intense job was a female by the name of Emily Warren Roblin. Emily Warren Roblin Osman was the head engineer of the project. But after her husband fell ill, she had to take the lead and oversee the day-to-day -day construction of the bridge. Now, what is fascinating about this is that in the late 19th centuries, it was not customary for a woman to accompany a man to a construction site. Yet, Emily Wari Roblin was no ordinary woman. She did the otherwise. She was born in Cold Spring, New York in 1843. Roblin grew up studying history, French, and mathematics, as well as the more customary subjects of the day of young women, such as housekeeping and needlework. But she eventually studied law at New York University in 1865. Emily married the civil engineer Washington A. Roblin, the son of the German American architect John A. Roblin, a man known for designing suspension bridge, most famously the Brooklyn Bridge. Yet, while designing and building the Brooklyn Bridge, the Roblin family will undergo unthinkable hardship. When construction began in 1869, the elder Mr. Roblin had his foot crushed in piles of a broken pier when a barge came in to dock. Now this is according to the New York Times. According to the New York Times, he contacted Tetanius and died less than a month later. From there, his son took lead as the civil engineer. Shortly after, however, the younger Roblin was forced to relinquish his role as he became gravely sick with the bent. That is an illness that can leave his victim paralyzed, blind, and deaf. From there, the task fell on the shoulder of Mr. Roblin's wife, Emily Warren Roblin. She went back and forth to the construction site. She negotiated the supply materials oversee the contract and acted as a liaison to the board of trustees. Now this was noted by the New York Times. With his wife in control of the construction site, Mr. Roblin would usually look at his Brooklyn Heights window 
and using a telescope, he watches the bridge final years of construction. When the bridge finally opened on May 24, 1883, it was a massive affair accompanied with fireworks and thousands of eager New Yorkers on hand to see the completed structure. That day, the New York Times published two articles on the bridge. One of them was headline, Ah, the wife of the Brooklyn Bridge engineer has assisted her husband. Fascinating. As noted by the New York Times, Visitor walking the Brooklyn Bridge today should keep their eyes open for a plaque on the bridge honoring all Terry Robles. It read, Back of every great walk, we can find the self sacrificing devotion of a woman. Emily, while Robles never planned on becoming an engineer, she wanted to be a lawyer. But she has accomplished what could only be described as a huge engineering feat and accomplishment in the engineering world. Today, women are underrepresented in the construction field, and women also receive few engineering degrees in the world compared to men. A study carried out in the UK reported that 27% of young women aged between 10 to 16 when asked if they are thinking of becoming a role model in the engineering field, they often say they would prefer to go into a different field rather than the engineering field. But having a role model like Emily Warren Roblin is one of the ways to increase female participation in the engineering field. And I hope that Emily Warren Roblin can serve as a role model that inspires more women dive into the engineering field. So this is a story of Emily Warren Roblin and the Brooklyn Bridge. Like you saw earlier on, she didn't plan to become an engineer, she wanted to be a lawyer, but she later became an engineer who oversee the day-to-day -day construction of the Brooklyn Bridge. So if not for Emily Warren Roblin, who knows, maybe the Brooklyn Bridge will never have been completed. So, I hope women can take Emily Ware Roblin as a role model and I want to see more women dive into the engineering field. So, I hope you learned something new today. Before you leave, if you are new to this channel, I make videos on zero engineering topics. So, if you are interested in this type of videos, then you can subscribe to the channel by hitting the red subscribe button below this video that says subscribe and also turn on the bell notification icon and set it to all so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first to get notified you can also share these videos with friends so that it gets to more people as possible don't forget to also like the video if it was helpful with that being said this is the end of this video. You all take good care of yourself. See you later. Bye-bye.